Hi, so today I'm going to show two different ways to create the blinking eye effect, the really fast and easy way if you already have the effect uh, available to you, and then how to just create the effect on your own. So the first thing I'm going to do, you can see here, I've got my oval, which is my going to be my effect uh, mask. I've got a black background, and then I've got four, uh, three video clips. First thing I'm going to do is take my white oval, I'm going to go to chroma key and I'm going to make it alpha. Next thing I'm going to do is go to size and position and take that same um, oval and re redirect it and make it a different size because you can see these edges are uh, a little bit cropped because it's quite large. So I'm just going to drag this in on both sides and that's probably about where I want it. Then I'm going to just click center because uh, I want to keep it consistent throughout the uh, th throughout the effect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the white oval. I'm going to go to video effects, load video effects. And this blinking eye uh, IFX file is the one that John created. So I'm just going to click open. So now the blinking eye effect is in place. If I play the uh, clip, we get the blinking eye. Okay, so you can see that uh, the first one we just did, I uh, preview rendered it just so that we can play it through very quickly to um, show you how the effect worked out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this group, which is basically the same thing with no effects applied. Uh, I'm going to set the range here and I'm going to go um, zoom to selected range. That way we can see the clip a little larger. Uh, again, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select the uh, oval. I'm going to go to chroma key. I'm going to set it as alpha. So as before, you can see that the, uh, the oval is there with the black around it. I'm going to go to size and position. Drag the edges in just to get rid of the uh, sorry, got the wrong clip. Drag the other edge in, and then I'm just going to center this. You could position it anywhere you want, but you'd have to uh, make sure you kept track of what position you used, otherwise, the blink effect uh, is going to look like it's kind of jumping around the screen. So now we've got um, our effects set. Uh, what, what I'm going to do first is go to the beginning of the timeline and I'm going to set a keyframe there. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eye open. Then I'm going to drag to the transition between the two effects. Go back to the end and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the uh, keep aspect ratio. Sorry, keep proportions. And I'm just going to shrink this horizontally down to as small as I can get. In this case, two is good. And then I'm going to click center. And I'm going to have my keyframe there. And I'm going to move over to, I don't know, about the center of this clip. And I want the wide open, uh, I want it to be wide open by then. So it's going to be going from small uh, flat to open. I'm going to copy this keyframe. And again, back to the center of this clip. Let's say it's about there. And then I'm going to insert the keyframe. So now we have the effect of the eel coming in. Then I'm going to go to the end of the clip again. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to copy the closing keyframe. Go to the end of this clip. 
and insert the key frame. So again, I've got the uh, Moray eel coming in and closing again. So finally, I'm going to go again to the about the middle of the clip because that's kind of where I want it to be. Um, I should have copied the keyframe. So I'm going to copy the uh, wide open keyframe. This one. Copy the keyframe. Go to the middle of the clip, roughly. Go insert the keyframe. So now we got the alligator wide open. And I'm going to go to the close keyframe again. And copy it. End of the timeline. Or roughly the end of the timeline. And I'm going to insert that keyframe there. So, um, if I just quickly preview render this range. It's just going to take a couple of seconds. Now we'll be able to play the clip and you can see the, uh, the blinking effect that we just created. There, so, sorry, if we uh, go back to the beginning of the clip. Play it. We got the eye closing, the Mori eel coming in, closing, and then the alligator coming in and closing. So that's pretty much how you do it. Now you can move these keyframes around if you want to adjust the timing, or you can change the, the speed of the clips to make it blink faster, or you could just do uh, the, the same keyframe set on each individual clip where you drag in the oval. You have the uh, black mask running up along the top and make your own uh, little set to make it blink faster or slower or whatever you want. Hope this helps. Good luck.